So starting off with the fresh face, I have already done my eyebrows and I'm just going to apply some of my rosebud salve to prep for my lipstick later. So then I'm just going to be applying some foundation and I'm just using this, my Real Technique sponge. I'm applying this all over my face and I honestly, I thought I put my hair in the fire, so <gasps> go Alex. So I just sped up a lot of things in this video just so you wouldn't have to watch me blending a lot, so. Next I'm applying concealer and I'm using this more of like a highlight instead of a concealer. I don't mean to sound like narcissistic, but I don't have any acne right now, so I don't really need to cover anything up. So I'm putting that under my eyes, on my forehead, and on my chin, and then I'm just going to be blending that out. So since this is a prom look, I wanted to go a little bit more dramatic than I usually do, so I decided to bake it a little bit. I wanted a very subtle kind of bake, so I kept it on for maybe about three to five minutes. And I didn't do a lot, although it did feel really gross on my face, not even gonna lie. So then, moving on, I'm just going to apply some bronzer, and I only used a little bit because since I'm very pale and I used a pretty dark shade compared to my skin tone, I only applied just a tiny bit. And I thought it did the job just fine. Next, I'm applying my white eyeshadow base, and this is from NYX. I'm not making this the cleanest of application because honestly, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be covering it up with eyeshadow anyways. This is just to make the colors of the eyeshadow more pigmented. So first, I'm taking the color called In The Buff, and this is just a white shade. I'm using this on the white eyeshadow base just to set it and make sure my eyeshadows don't crease. Then I'm taking the color Sugar Walls. I'm using that on the lid to kind of be the base. It's not too dark, but it's not too light either. Next, I'm taking the color called Garter Belt. It is a mix between a brown and a purple, and I'm using this in the crease. I'm turning this kind of into a cat eye shape just so it looks a bit more polished, and then we're just going to be blending this inward towards the inner corners, but not quite the inner corners, you know? Next, I'm just wiping off the bake because I felt like it was on for long enough. By the time I got to this part, it was maybe three to four minutes in, like I mentioned before. Next, I'm just taking the color called Fuzzy Handcuffs, and this is a good transitional shade. Um, so I'm using this to blend out Garter Belt and blend this up into the white that we may have missed from before. Next, I'm taking the color called Satin Sheets, and it's this rose gold color. I'm putting this on my lids to kind of re-highlight it and make it less muddy. Then lastly for eyeshadow, I'm taking in the buff again and I'm using this to highlight my inner corners or just the inner eye area in general. Next I am applying some gel liner. I know I've talked about how much I hate this gel liner, but you guys, I seriously cannot like get enough of this liner. I don't know. I've just stopped using liquid and gone back for this one. So then I'm just taking the black shade from the palette and I'm, I'm just deepening up the color. Next I'm taking my Ardell Wispy Lashes. My camera died halfway through putting on the first lash so then I just finished them off camera and then it looked a lot better. Just applying a little bit of mascara to finish them off on my top and lower lashes. And you guys know damn well that I'm going to be highlighting. I didn't pull this palette out for no reason. I'm just taking the two highlighting shades I always use and highlighting with that. Then I'm applying the lip liner that I seem to be using a lot lately. I'm just lining my lips and then after I'm filling it in with Max Cream Cup. And then that was the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.